Hey everybody, it's Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode 7 of the Wolf of the Grand Exchange. At the end of last episode, we ended up with 35 mil, and unfortunately, how I started last episode was saying that we're really not at a cash stack quite yet to really be, be adding newer, bigger items, and I still kind of feel that way. Of course, I can afford things that are in the 10 to 20 mil range now, clearly even the 20 to 30 mil range, but if I'm only able to afford one or two of them, I tend to, to try and stay away from those items a little bit. I'd prefer to be able to flip four or five of an item, or more preferably, be able to flip three of one item and three of a second item. It, those tend to make more profit an hour, but I'm actually going to get into that in a little bit more detail a little bit later on in the episode when I do try some more expensive items. So from about 15, maybe even more like 20 mil to where we are now, it really has been kind of a kind of a boring pace that we've been at. I, I can make about 300k an hour, like pretty average. That's usually the number that I'm I'm going for. If I make less than 300k an hour, I feel like I, I either was wasting my time or I was just doing something wrong, which in a lot of cases, if I was doing something wrong, I learned from that and it works out better. But I prefer to be making 300 plus. I, I make four, five, even 600k in an hour occasionally. Um, four, 400k is not too uncommon, but like 600k in an hour, I've done that two, maybe three times now, which is uh, not awful, but I would prefer to be able to manage that every hour, obviously. Uh, overall, I think what I'm getting to is um, it's it's been kind of a, a slow pace for me, just just um, item-wise. I haven't been able to change up my items too much. I've been buying more things like Odium Wards has been something I've been enjoying to flip uh, between 5 and 6 mil, usually actually right in between 5 and a half. Uh, the Malediction Ward, a little bit cheaper, more like 3 and a half, maybe 4 mil. And uh, it doesn't seem to flip as well, but some of these these more expensive items I've been trying to get into a little bit better. Uh, the Berserker and the Fury, the Berserker Ring and the Fury, those are more of a price range of like the Malediction Ward. But I really think of them as like a Dragon Chain, Dragon Pickaxe, Whip type of item because they seem to flip really quickly. Clearly, a lot of them are being traded, which makes a big difference. If a lot of people are buying and selling the item, more likely you are going to be able to buy and sell the item. That's how it works with supplies. And even at this level, certain items, it works better that way. Like whips, for instance. The reason I can flip whips so quickly and that they're generally a smaller profit margin than something like a dragon pick would be because a lot of people trade whips. Uh, if you want to get a number on how many of an item Excuse me, that, that came out wrong. If you want to get a number of how much of an item is being traded every day, you can check that out on the OS Buddy site. Uh, it's been down lately uh, a couple of times, but um, if, if you manage to get in there when it's not down, they'll give you some good numbers on how often an item is being traded. So if you see that something's only being bought and sold 100 times a day, then you got to realize that's every 24 hours, only 100 of them are being sold. On average, if four of them are being sold an hour, we could say five to round it up a little bit better, and you're trying to buy it for a lower price, you're going to have a hard time buying more than two in that hour. Uh, if you're lucky, you could get the four or five. And you never know, it's not it's not always five an hour to get up to 100 a day. It could be 10 in one hour. Uh, it could be two in one hour. It's, it's really more likely to be average, but clearly it, it's all a numbers game at this point. Those numbers tend to even themselves out pretty well though. Clearly if you have an item that's sold more often, it has a lower profit margin. And if you just have an item that's sold less often, generally you have a higher profit margin. So it'll usually work itself out, but those are numbers that you want to be paying attention to. Here's a point where I started trading some um, some fairly expensive items. I stuck with the 10 to 20 mil range, only tried a few of them here. They generally worked out pretty well. Uh, I was managing 35 to 40k per flip, maybe 50k, or per item, I should say, per flip. If I was flipping three or four of them, clearly that's 100 to 150k per flip. And, uh, I don't know, it's not horrible. It's clearly better than a lot of the items we've been getting. But sometimes, unlike an Odium Ward, I'll get a 50k split. And with a Bandos Chestplate being a, a 35k split, uh, it's three times the price, maybe two and a half times the price for not as much profit margin. But it's still worth doing. It's not like that means I shouldn't be doing Bandos chest plates. You need to only be doing Odium Wards. That doesn't make sense. You can only trade like eight Odium Wards every four hours. So once you run out of that, move on to Bandos chest plates. So it's still kind of the same concept here. Just trying to increase the number of items that I can flip. And then in a four hour chunk, flip as many items as I can. Once my four hours reset, if all of the items that I was flipping worked or even the majority of them, just repeat the process generally start making a good profit. I'm hoping that, uh, not even just hoping, I know that sometimes these expensive items get to a much bigger profit margin. 
Uh, I've had much cheaper items have a bigger profit margin, so I'm aware that it happens. I'm also aware that some items have a good day, some items have an off day. I've traded dark bows for a 35-40k margin in under 5 minutes. I've traded dark bows for a 6k margin in 25 minutes. So sometimes it's rough, sometimes it's nice to you. And really the only way to, uh, not, not the only way, but the best way to get around that is to just keep flipping items. Uh, I've definitely lost some money. Uh, one item you don't see in here was the Armadale chain skirt. Um, I believe when I tested the price, it said it was like a, an 80 to 85k profit margin and then I had a really hard time getting any to buy and I didn't make all that money back. Uh, it's not even the only time that's ever happened. I generally don't show you guys the ones where I lose money because I don't think you guys are trying to learn how to lose money. You guys are probably trying to learn how to make money like I am. But um, sometimes not every item works, especially these expensive ones can be a little bit more risky. But overall it clearly ends up adding up well as I've been making profit from the start. As we approach a 50 mil cash stack, one of the most exciting things for me is that I can now afford to buy uh, my entire 4 hour limit of items like the dragon chain or my whip. Uh, I've been able to afford my 8 berserker rings all at one time for a while now, but really most of these items that I've been flipping commonly, I can afford the entire range of it in a single flip. Now I don't really want to do that quite yet. I'd rather buy half of the limit each for each item, for, for two items I should say, not for each item because it would be like 19 items I'm trying to flip at one time. But if I could buy half of the limit for two items instead of the entire limit for one, that generally makes more money. But now that I'm at a point where I can buy the entire limit, um, I might try it out. The, the big idea there is I always have an item, or excuse me, I always have an offer in there that is buying. So if I'm trying to buy 20 dragon chains instead of buying 10 and 10, when you always have the offer in there, there's not any time between buys that you're you're not buying anything. So generally that speeds it up a little bit. It also is a little bit simpler, a little bit more convenient. I don't have to re remember the number that um, I'm buying it for, even though I write it down. It's not that big of a deal. But it's a little bit simpler to do. Uh, it's kind of a, a lazy flipping idea that um, I'm probably going to be talking about a little bit more in depth next episode. Uh, in general, I'm very happy that I've gotten to that point, but at this moment that you're watching right now, I don't think it's affected me that much. Uh, something like Infinity Boots, it affects me a little bit more because they're only one mil a piece, so buying the entire 24 or 23 if I've tested the price only costs about 24 mil. So I can buy 24 mil worth of Infinity Boots and then 25 mil worth of Dragon Chains. It still works out. So overall, the uh, the biggest thing here is that I can start flipping not only a broad variety of items, but a lot of each item at one time. And it's really gotten to a point where that's pretty solid. At 50 mil, I can afford the items between 1 and 5 mil, I can basically afford as many of them as I want at a time, as I feel like flipping at a time. And when we get to those more expensive items like the Bandos chest plate, I can now afford three of them, nearly four. I, I believe I only need 52, 53 mil to get up to four of them. So I would be able to flip my, my limit of Bandos chest plates in only two flips rather than four. So it's clearly speeding up. We've expected it to speed up. I expect it to speed up even more in the future. But uh, overall, this is going to be the final clip. We are approaching 50 mil. Uh, not a lot has changed as you saw throughout this episode. The majority of my money is coming from like Abyssal Whips, Dragon Chains, uh, Furies, Berserker Rings, Dark Bows. Those are all the big ones. The Dragon Pickaxe hasn't been bad. That helps too. It's, it's clearly something I want to try. I mean, if I have any item that's going to make profit, I need to be flipping it. Um, overall, Unfortunately, not that many exciting changes, but we're getting to a point where we've tried some more expensive items, and I think next episode we can really flip those expensive items like legitimately and make a lot of money from it. Uh, as you can see now, we have hit the 50 mil mark. There it is, a 50 mil cash stack. We're halfway to the 100 mil that we wanted, uh, more than halfway through the episodes. We only have three episodes after this one, everybody, and then this series is going to be over. Uh, it's been fun so far. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know I did, and I will see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and tell us what you enjoyed about it. If you're looking for some more RuneScape videos like this one, then be sure to join the cul-de-sac by subscribing for more. We will see you next time.